Hello and welcome back to episode 6 of my Schalke career mode. Today we're going to be playing two league matches and a cup game against Bayern Munich. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be starting off with a game against FC Union Berlin, um, who obviously I've just made a video on on my channel. So if you want to learn a bit more about them, uh, feel free to check that out. But I'll probably bring up quite a lot of the interesting points as we go through this match. So of course we're going to start off with our team. Um, we need to change it around. FC Union Berlin are one of the US teams in the Bundesliga. So we can afford to rest some of our better players if we want to keep them fresh for the harder matches against uh, Hertha Berlin and Bayern Munich. And obviously Bayern Munich in the cup. Um, this is actually the last match I'm going to play on Legendary. The rest of my games I'll play on Ultimate. So you can expect it to be a bit more difficult for me in the future if that's something you like watching. Uh, but of course... As you'd expect with it being harder, there might be a bit less footage for me to use in these videos. So you might end up having slightly shorter videos, but obviously harder matches and a bit more of a realistic performance. So you can see that the stadium is actually in the game. It's a very interesting stadium, as we mentioned in the video with Alex um, a couple of days ago. It's actually in the middle of a forest in Berlin. Um, the stadium does mean something like the stadium of the old Forester, I believe, if I can remember correctly. But um, yeah, it's a very interesting stadium, and I definitely recommend you read up on them. But we're going to begin here um, with Rabbi Matondo, Draxler out to Raman, and he's through on goal. We try and pull it across, which I try. I'm going to try and avoid doing because it does make the games a bit too easy if you pull them across all the time. But saved by the goalkeeper. Uh, Draxler gets it again. Sees Mark Ut, cuts it back, and tries to kill one in the corner. Yeah, nothing there. You could see it briefly then that Union Berlin are actually got the worst defence in the whole Bundesliga at the moment. So, yeah, it's, hopefully we can get one or two goals in this and keep our good run going. Stambouli missed the shot there. Ospika gets another shot from the edge of the box. I think that's a fourth or fifth already in that position. And it's the same result as the other four or five. And again there from, I think that was Quebec for some reason up there. But they get the ball in the 36th minute out wide. Good save from Renault. And Matondo wins the header. Cars up to Stambouli. He gets tackled. We're playing Stambouli uh, defensive mid as usual, of course. Not centre back in his natural position, so he's getting a bit of a, uh, a hit on his attributes. But they get the ball in the six yard box almost, and they just slot it home. I think that was probably their first shot of the game, to be honest. Um, so we can feel a little bit hard done by, even if our shots were from fairly long distance. But Drexler gets the ball again on the edge of the box, gets tackled, and that's going to be the half-time whistle. We're going to skip straight to the start of the second half, no subs needed. Um, and yes, it was indeed their only shot of the first half. We're skipping now 10 minutes into the second half. We've got Mark Oot, who's playing centre-forward for us instead of his natural cam. Through on goal, hits the crossbar. At this point, I was thinking it was going to be one of those games where you just get super unlucky, you know? Um... There's no way you can score when the AI decides that you don't want they don't want you to score. But um, Matondo gets the ball out wide, beats his man, cuts inside, and kills one just wide again. So we've had maybe 10 good chances in this game. And we've still not even had a shot on target. But drags us through, ships it to Oot. And another insane save from the goalkeeper. At this point, I was really, really considering that we were not going to win this one. Of course... The main man's there. You know we can rely on Draxler right now if you've watched the other five episodes. And once again, he's proving that that transfer fee is absolutely worth it. I think he's definitely a top scorer at this point and probably top assists and top highest rated, but it's 1 1. Julian Draxler, the Fussbullgott in Schalke. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving playing with Draxler, as I mentioned in every single episode. But uh, Matondo has the ball out wide here. Car stops overlapping. And we just run off the pitch. We should have cut that back. It would have been an easy goal. But again, I'm trying not to cut them back whenever I can. Union Berlin have a late free kick here. They try and do a little trick one. But Sane blocks it. Raman can get in behind here possibly. Because we know Union Berlin don't have the fastest defence. But he just didn't have enough stamina to get past them. And I think that's going to be the last action of the game in this long ball. And the goalkeeper's just going to let that run out for a... Well, it would have been a goal kick. But the end of the match... So, it was an alright match for us. Um, of course, I've decided to cut out the little team review, but I'll do it now while we're simming across to these other matches. And 
yeah, Draxler, of course, is fire, as usual. Moku, fire. Ramlin, just as good as normal. Stambouli was a bit bad in that game. Um, Kabak and Sane, I prefer having Kabak and Nastasic, but Sane, he just stops any chance of you conceding a header from a corner. So that's the main reason I've been picking him, especially against some of these taller teams. You can see there that I've just changed the difficulty. We're up to ultimate, and here is the team we're going to be playing our first ultimate match with. You've got a few tired players, Stambouli one of them, so I did consider bringing Schopf back in. I think he got injured in the first league match and he's only played in the cup since, so he's got terrible sharpness, so I didn't quite want to bring him in just yet. We are playing Draxler deeper in this one. Hopefully he can get on the ball a bit more, but then the usual Pacienza, Uth, Raman and Matondo up front. Um, yeah, and as I said, Draxler playing a bit deeper. It is a home game now against the classic, uh, the classic Capital City Club of Union Berlin, whose stadium is also in the game. You can see there a quick shot of the stadium without any fans in, which of course is what it would look like these days um, during the pandemic. But thankfully in FIFA, fans are allowed in the stadium still. So I guess that virus hasn't quite... The... Uh, coronavirus hasn't quite passed into the computer world yet but yeah match day 13 and we're doing pretty well uh, you might have seen the table from the first game that i showed we're currently around between fifth and eighth at this point so of course much better than schalke are doing in real life um anyway the match has started so let's talk about that um you can tell that ultimate is a lot more difficult than the other difficulties and that's the only chance I have of this whole first half. Uh, you can see that it skipped pretty much from the start and kickoff to that chance. To this chance, but it's more of a half chance where I've just kicked against a block player. And that's half time. So, not the most exciting first half. But then again, we did have some halves like this when we were playing on the lower difficulty. You see Dortmund losing to FC Köln. So, <laughs> interesting for our rivals there. Uh, the fans would, of course, be very happy with that. I don't think we're doing too much worse than them in the league as well. Uh, and it was a pretty interesting game when we played them in the last episode. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you go back and watch that match. It was, uh, it was a good match. But a few more chances now in the second half as we're getting used to the difficulty. Uh, Pacienza has given it to Draxler, who tries to get past his man. And he's just slightly out of stamina, so he's lost a bit of strength and a bit of pace. But again, Pacienz has got it, and we brought on Ibisevic just to try and rest Drexler a little bit for the Bayern Munich Cup match. And he's just not got enough pace. He's a bit of an old man. I think he's about 37, 38. And as you'd expect, EA think he has 25 pace, which is not good enough for a Bundesliga match. But I think that's our first 0-0 of the season. So, you know, that's a bit of a rarity right there. Um, yeah. Here is the big one though, the Bayern Munich match. You can see they've signed a few players. They've got Manolas at the back, Deli Ali centre uh, attacking midfield. Uh, I think they're not playing Muller because they're playing Deli Ali. So that is a pretty, um, pretty ambitious move from them there. Pretty ballsy move, giving him a rest for this match. But yeah, you can see that our team is absolutely tired as hell. So we're gonna have to rest all of them and uh, try and keep them fresh for the league. So, yeah, not too much we can do here. So we've got a 62-rated striker. 75-rated um, Stambouli is playing centre-back in this one with Nastasic because, obviously, we have enough centre-backs that we can rotate, but we obviously can't quite get the rest of the squad rotated at the same standard. But that's going to be an important thing for the transfer window. Speaking of the transfer window, um, I was thinking of live streaming that so that I could get some of your guys, you guys' input on the whole uh, transfers and what kind of players we should go for, any differences in tactics, and maybe you can ask me any, a few questions because I am a bit, uh, I haven't really talked about myself very much on the channel. So if you would be interested in me doing a stream for the transfer windows, um, maybe we could do sort of a summer transfer window and a winter transfer window stream each time. I think that would be pretty nice. Um, obviously I've never streamed before so it might be a bit awkward the first couple but bear with me because I'm still a bit awkward at making videos in general <laughs> uh, and yeah just also unrelated to this video I have noticed there's been a lot of support on this channel recently I've gained about 600% of my subscribers per day than what I was expecting uh, from last month so 
yeah you can see that this channel is growing and i really do appreciate all your feedback all your likes all your comments anyone who's messaged me on the discord um yeah i really appreciate it so thank you everyone for uh thank you everyone for getting involved anyway the Bayern munich match is starting so that's more important than me waffling on about the channel and Deli Ali straight away on the ball. So they have uh, Ali, Komen and I believe Gnabry on the other wing. With Lewandowski up front who of course is the danger man. And straight away Komen is the danger man. And <laughs> I think Nastasic knows that because he is absolutely clad into him. And I don't think Nastasic is going to get up from that. The unlucky thing about this, of course, is Bayern Munich have such a good squad that I think they have Diego, Diego not Diego Costa, sorry, Douglas Costa on the bench, who is going to absolutely tear our 66 rated right back apart, probably more than um, more than Komen would have done. So we've got that to look forward to, at least with Ludwig. Um, but we're holding our own now for the first 10 minutes. I think that's longer than we lasted in the league match. We had a good attack there, but it just broke down. And uh, Pavard, who's playing defensive midfield. Yeah, here's Costa, as we mentioned. I tried to bring the goalkeeper out. I thought he was just going to get chipped. But no, Stambouli's there. Rono's there. And if we get this away, yeah, we've managed to definitely last longer than we did in the league match. Which is not too difficult with how badly we capitulated in that one. And of course, this is on a higher difficulty as well. So it's going to be even harder. But Kimmich has the ball in our box now, pulls it across to Lewandowski, to Pavard, to Deli Ali, and although I was making fun of him at the start of this match, he has just gone and shown why he's in the team. He's just good finish, good play from Bayern Munich as you'd expect, and yeah, he's done a bit of a weird celebration, but you know, that's what Deli Ali does. 20 minutes in now, and Bayern Munich are attacking again. This is going to be an absolutely a feature of this game, is us defending Bayern Munich attacking. Of course, we haven't got our best players out, but I can't imagine it'd be too different if we did. There's probably nothing we could have done to that, and Costa has just assisted Lewandowski. 2-0 after 20 minutes. Oh, dear. So, we're not going to enjoy playing this one, I don't think. Rono has just tried to kick it out to our left-back who is playing totally out of position. Nabry's got it here. Um, our player just totally misses his tackle, and <laughs> Tali Ali is there once again. Two goals, and um, yeah, I don't know what to say really. We are falling apart absolutely rapidly here. I think it was 4-0 in the league match. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I did play that about a month ago. But um, we do have a chance there just before half-time. But of course, Neuer is just as good as the rest of his team and is absolutely world class <laughs> and I can't see his game past him too many times uh, in this whole career mode let alone in this one match but we've managed to scrape a 3-0 loss in the first half hopefully we can win the second half and just give ourselves some dignity I can't imagine we'll make a comeback but uh, there's always a chance Costa showing some quick feet there and a little Rabona pass to Deli Alli uh, and it's Played it through to Nabry and Lewandowski's been at 4 0 just before the hour mark. Um, this is not good. This is absolutely not good for us. We are getting torn apart. Every time they go forward, I'm scared they're going to score. But here, we're the ones that look likely to score, and Mark Oot does score. He's been played through perfectly from our left back absolutely sprung the trap there's no way that their defenders could keep up with us and Mark Ute's got yet another goal um, at this point I was thinking hmm maybe we could win or not win but get back into it and Vraman five minutes later has made it 4-2 the comeback could be on here 66 minutes we have we have 20 odd minutes just to get two goals which we can absolutely do and here we are attacking again in the 70th minute Ludwig He's not quite got a good enough cross to get past their centre-back there. Um, we're totally running out of time here. So we've thrown everybody forwards. Deli Ali's hit the post. Costa is once again absolutely tearing our players apart with his agility. We can't get the ball away. Kimmich does ball roll, bounces through a player. And our former player, Leon Gorska, is there. Just the slot at home and absolutely solidified the win if there was any doubt that they were going to win at this point. Um... I don't like it when former players celebrate against me. It annoys me. Maybe I have to take him off the once to sign list. But Goretzka's through again. And Stasic dives in. I think he blocks the ball in my opinion. But the ref doesn't see it that way. Penalty. Costa's over it. Scores the penalty. 
easy as you like. No way we were saving that. But, yep, yeah, 6-2 and the match is about to end. Can we keep it under 7? Which is probably one of the heaviest defeats we will ever have in a career mode save. And, yeah, 6-2 is the final score. That is the end of the cup for us. We're out and Bayern Munich will probably go on to win it knowing how good they are. So... We're going to try something a little bit different now. We're going to do the player of the episode. In this, I think the player of this episode is going to have to be Mark Oot. Although Drexler, of course, is always going to be up there too. Uh, Mark Oot in that game just then, he's got us back into it. He's let us believe that we could possibly still be, uh, still be in the cup. But, of course, Bayern Munich are the absolute juggernauts who just crush any hopes and dreams you have totally at the source. So... That's the end of today's episode. Um, we'll have a quick look at the table, and yet we are in 7th place. Uh, our rivals Dortmund, 4 points ahead of us. Bayern Munich have lost 2 games. Leipzig still unbeaten after 13, so they've probably not played against uh, They've probably not played against Bayern Munich yet. Um, but yeah, we've got some interesting games coming up, and um, I hope you'll join me for watching those very soon. Thank you for watching, and if, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and you'll get the updates for all the next Career Modes episodes straight to your subscription box. Anyway, cheers and goodbye.